Tourism is one of Maine's largest industries, bringing in more than $9 billion last year in hotel, restaurant and shopping receipts. Yet the people who are the servers, the sales clerks, the hotel housekeepers that make those stays in Maine so memorable cannot afford to live anywhere near where they work. Good evening, everyone. I'm Amanda Hill. And I'm Brian Yukono. This is especially true for workers in popular tourist areas in our state, like the Midcoast, where housing has been bought up by vacationers turned homeowners. All this is impacting staffing, and it's leading employers to take extraordinary measures. Here's New Center Maine's Donovan Lynch. Sales are booming at the Craig Nair Inn by the Sea in Spruce Head, Maine. And owner Greg Suche and his wife Lauren are eager to grow their investment. We purchased the property a little over six years ago and have since expanded the restaurant into a year-round business. But on this evening in the peak summer season, their 95-seat Causeway restaurant is closed. Right now our, our restaurant's only able to be open five nights a week uh, because I would need to add more staff. Staff like Shannon Dennison, one of about 50 workers that Craig Nair employs in the summertime. Though there's no shortage of beds for Dennison to make as head housekeeper, it's finding ones for herself and her family that's been a challenge. So you have to have two incomes to have a house in around here, to afford the house in around here. The lack of affordable housing for workers is a growing problem across Maine. The steady trickle of out-of-staters moving here picked up during the pandemic. 1.6% of Maine homes were available to rent or buy in 2022. That's compared with 2.5% nationwide. All this driving up prices. And I like to stay in the St. George, Rockland area, but I have thought about moving out of state. To hold on to staff, Suche has done something unusual, buying three properties in nearby Rockland. He rents many of the 10 units to employees, including Denison, at below market rates. Having the housing has definitely helped with staff retention. I think it is becoming a necessity um, in the last few years. Good. Just offshore aboard the Stephen Tabor, a 115-foot schooner that sails tourists around the Gulf of Maine, the story is the same. My entire crew showed up in April. They could not find affordable places to live in Rockland. Even with bookings full, Captain Noah Barnes has had to clear out bunks on board for his staff to live in. No heat, no insulation, just bundled up, got a better sleeping bag. While arrangements like these may work in the short term, there's worry over a future with housing out of reach. I think one of the elements of this that will start to lack is the diversity of the population. Shannon Landwehr heads the Penobscot Bay okay, Regional okay. Chamber of Commerce in Rockland. She says the health of the economy depends on residents of different incomes being able to live in the same area. You really need to have certainly housing and employment that spans various levels. Even so, Landwehr finds hope in the root of the problem her community is confronting. We've got people interested in this community. Now we just need to find the right ways to support that. Donovan Lynch, New Center, Maine.